Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knight here with a review for you guys, specifically, on the Warrior Trail training plates. Now, for this particular review, I will be using, the most specific way, the large training plate and the side sappy training plate. Now, they're both designed to be the same weight and uh, size and everything as an actual plate. The thing to note that I didn't actually see, although if I paid more attention to the pictures, it might have been more obvious with the large plate, is that it comes as a swimmer cut. So there's the extra little cut here so you can get your arm through. I'm not a professional swimmer, but I'm assuming the ability to reach forward in front of you is dynamically a... Uh, it's beneficial in numerous ways to the ability to swim, especially with the extra weight of plates attempting to drown you and save your life from bullets at the same time. So, conflict of interest, but hey, whatever. So, the large plates come in this gray color. They're uh, PVC, sort of injected molds or material. Although, speaking to Jin and everyone, they apparently believe it's made of wood. It is not wood. It is a special PVC. It is designed to take a beating and will probably outlive your plate carrier if you test it to full capacity. Now, swimmer cut's nice, and there's the hole through the center, so you know it's a training plate. So, it will not stop bullets. It will stop a punch, though. This thing is solid and it hurts so if nothing else it gives you a solid melee setup but yeah so you get the actual weight so great for training in gain all your fitness and I actually ordered a uh, a little sort of scrub uh, condurp plate carrier just to wear this for training and so I don't ruin my beautiful LBT 6094 naturally so the side as you can see I know you guys don't take a good look so it's a fair deal of thickness we got going here solid weight as much as an actual plate um, you have know, a little warrior trail thing. Most important thing, this makes me particularly happy. Made in the USA. Big thing for me, really a huge fan of it. Wish I could get more things in the USA, but eh, you think what you can. So, fits front and back of your plate carrier. And we'll be putting these in here in a second. Now for the side sappy plate, a lot smaller. Fits, well, yeah, as you'd expect, on the side. Uh, side sappies are really light, to be honest. But yeah, same idea, train like a fight, made in the USA. This one comes in white. You can actually see where they uh, they dremel all the extra stuff off, get the weight and shape and everything just right. So it's a it's a little rough. They definitely did some polishing up on it. It's not nearly as smooth as the actual face, but it's still pretty decent. I like it. So yeah, two of these. The side sappies, a set of two, will run you about eighty-two dollars, and the large sappies will run you about one seventy. With one sixty for mediums and. 150 for smalls, don't quote me on that, I don't have the web set up, but it should be somewhere close to that than naturally shipping. So, with all of these, the great benefit is that they gives you weight to train with, so as opposed to training with, say, no plates, and then having to have plates in when you're actually doing operations or anything, these will help you be a lot more physically better prepared. Yeah, so, using the 6094, I'm going to insert these really quick. This might be just a second, so I can give you kind of an idea how they fit. Now, the 1694 does accept medium or large plates, so that's a nice thing to know. The swimmer cut definitely fits pretty nicely. Get that one in there. As far as airsofting goes, I've always liked to wear my Camelback. And the problem with the Camelback is if you're wearing it with just foam plates or no real weight in a LBT at all, the extra weight of the camelback is going to pull down on the front and it is going to choke you slightly. Which some people might enjoy, but when the goal is to keep good, uh, keep your blood oxidized and, uh, you know, keep oxygen in your system, removing carbon dioxide, basically, basically being alive, we'll say, that can be a very, very bad thing. Now, if you've never seen what a LBT 6094 looks like, with side sappy plates installed. This is going to be fun for you. Make sure you put them in. As you can see, there is a obviously a top side. Make sure you put these in the right way. Sideways will dig into your ribs. And it is going to be a bit taller than you may be comfortable with or expecting. As I have come to learn. So, just jam this in here real quick. Please stand by. It will, however, fit eventually. Almost down here, one more. Uh oh. We have a renegade side sappy plate. This is not part of the curriculum, oh there it is. Okay. Stay calm, everything is under control folks. This thing's heavy so it's going to the floor. But, you know, slowly, let's 
Should this fit any lower? Nope, that's max. All right, folks, just a second here. This is the challenge part. You're not actually going to cut all this crop to it. So, the plate's inserted. We'll not put this on. Glasses off for safety reasons. Now, it is going to have a bit of weight. That'll be the most noticeable. It does get a lot more comfortable once you are actually wearing it, though. So, plate carrier on. First strap in place. And second strap in place. Close. Grab my glasses so I can see you guys. Alright, so, we have the plates in, as you can see. The swimmer cut does give a bit of a free mobility here, so you can swim, or doggy paddle, or whatever style you need to stay alive. Now, let's see here, maybe we'll bring this down a bit lower, yeah, there we go. So, as you can see, we got a front here. It's solid. Ah, it sounds solid, it actually hurts a wee bit. And the side sappies are going to crop up a bit. The LB, LBT is built to actually take that, so this little piece of velcro here is what's holding it in place. And it gives you a nice, solid amount of protection going. Same on this side, and with the weight, you can actually use a camelback. Now this is nice for staying hydrated, because with all this weight, you're probably going to need to be. And there we go. So, yeah, with the extra plates, you can put water in the camelback. The plate will hold everything in place, so it will not attempt to strangle you, and you'll stay hydrated. So, now the, um, I wouldn't say there's a lot of issues with this, but airsoft wise, you are going to be somewhat disadvantaging yourself with the extra weight. However, you will be, you'll probably develop a six pack for everyone else, that's for sure. And yeah, it's great for adding a lot of realism to the training. It is a good deal of weight, good to train with, and particularly comfortable, and of course you can always Pull out the quick release tab, be like, I need to get this seppy plate out. So at a moment's notice, you can free the plate. And like I stated, with only weight in the back, which is now simulating the weight of a camel back, you can see where the problem would be with foam plates. This is now gonna constantly lift up against me eh, and attempt to murder me. Which is not a not something you want to have happen. So yeah, that's what I've got for these. Move this back one out here real quick. Another nice benefit is you can easily remove them. And yeah, so, I mean, they're fairly pricey for what you what you give in, but I mean, as opposed to making your own concrete ones or anything, these are relatively indestructible. You will have a hard time breaking these, so. Odds are, if you fall from the top of a three, let's say four-story building, and you land chest first, the sappy plate will survive. You probably won't, but the sappy plate will be okay. So you can get to the next guy, and it'll probably be haunted by whatever's left of you, and you know, causing nightmares, curses, all that good stuff. So, yeah, and the sappy plates come up, and the sides come up pretty easily too. Same thing as lift up here and free sappy. Well, you can free the sappy, but of course, as you can tell, the uh, plate carrier doesn't look nearly as awesome without sappies. So, yeah, that's basically the entirety of the review. So. Warrior Trail. Pretty gnarly. Probably more for uh, government use and everything. Oh, look. Got a few pockmarts. Pockmarts and everything in here, but as you can see, the plate is still intact. Pretty sure this is from. I don't know. Looks like it just got beat a wee bit. But yeah, as you can see, this plate will survive practically everything. So there you have it. LV. Warrior Trail training plates. Large. And the I think the small ones came in blue. I can't remember if the mediums came in like white or something, but yes, yeah, so that's pretty much all there is to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If it's something you're interested in, I'd definitely say try giving it a shot. It is a tad bit pricey, to be fair though, but yeah, pretty gnarly. I, I'm enjoying it. I'm going to definitely start training with these when the scrub play carrier gets here and using these for further airsoft games. So there might be a period of time of me burning out pretty intensely and complaining about the heat and everything, but... Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, Warrior Trail is pretty easy to access. If you look up their website, they have all their plates there. They also make um, they also make their own plate carriers and stuff. So other things I'd like to get a look at. But for the meantime, I wanted to really give these a shot. So yeah, hopefully this review gave you some insight. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm always here. Stay chill with us, everyone. Cheers.